So, which way are we going today? Hmm, let's see. Are you really trying to figure it out? I have to do something about Xenon's curse before it gets worse. Don't you want to be back with your father? Then take this seriously. Monsieur Adel, do you not think you are being a bit uh, too harsh? Especially since she will be summoned against her will? Ah, I can't believe I'm being lectured by a talking frog. If you are determined to meet Overlord Xenon, I will take you to him. But only if you have the courage to face him. Just let me know when the terror sinks in and you change your mind, okay? <laughs> I won't change my mind. I will defeat Xenon. Tink, can you handle this? I will be fine. You brought me along to help you end his life, yes? Yes, I need your coming. Then leave it to Tink. I shall surpass your expectations. <laughs> Excusez-moi, Monsieur Adele. Your mother was once a human, but she is a powerful summoner, no? Indeed. She surprised me as well. I never knew that humans could become such great summoners. Well, I heard that she was a pretty famous summoner when she was young. She doesn't really talk about it, but according to the townspeople, she used to get requests from nobles and royalty. Hmm. Did she learn how to summon all by herself? No, she said a friend taught her a long time ago. But she doesn't remember much since Xenon's cursed our world. I see. You must be very proud of her. But to be able to teach someone else skills to that extent, that friend must have been a great summoner. Ah. <sighs>
Well, this isn't the best place to do this, but we gotta eat sometime. Hanako made us some rice balls to eat. Do you want some? Ignorant fruit! Inviting a lady to eat in a place like this is simply inappropriate. Don't you have any manners? She is right, Monsieur Adele. Do you expect a princess to dine in such a big sty? So what? You're not gonna eat? I shall try some. Princess, you are going to eat? We mustn't let Hanako's food go to waste. Besides, I'm hungry. All right, here you go. Hmm, so this is a rice ball. I have never eaten food of this kind before. Psst, Tink. Yes, princess? I must warn you, I am not going to share my rice ball with you. That isn't what I was going to ask you. Are you certain I can leave all the planning to you? Princess! Your doubt is like an arrow through my heart. Do you not trust Tink? Honestly, I do not trust you at all. You did not even stop to think about it. Eh, very well, let me explain. These swamps are famous for being quite dangerous. You see, there are unique monsters around here. Some of the older ones are said to be well over level 100. They are thought to come from UFOs. So, I suggest we get this monster to eat a dead. Instead of fighting, we can run away! I see. You are evil. Au contraire. I am not as evil as you. <laughs> All who oppose my father must die. He desires to fight. So his fate is already sealed. But if that happens, how will Taro and Hanako feel? Hey, I just realized something. Why isn't Xenon trying to rescue you? I mean, you should know that you're missing by now, right? Why isn't this all over the news? We should have bounty hunters chasing us with shootouts and everything. You! You dare mock me! Are you implying that I am not the real daughter of Xenon? Um, what are you talking about? My father cherishes me! A beautiful mansion built just for me! All those furniture is made just for me! Servants who work just for me! And he sends me flowers and gifts every day! All for me, and only me! Who else would Overlord Xenon do such things for? Who? Answer me! What are you getting so angry about? No one said anything about you not being his daughter. I just wanted shootouts. Hmm. That is what you get for asking rude questions. Yeah. 
Can I ask you something? What? Are you still mad at me? Are you planning to ask another rude question? No, I'm not. I was just wondering what kind of man Overlord Xenon is. All I've heard are the legends. No one has seen Xenon and lived to tell about it. So I have no idea what he's really like. Well, my father is a kind and generous man. He always protects me with all his might. There is no one more respectable than him. Hmm. What do you say, Tink? Well, I have never met him personally, but um, he is not someone you want to upset, huh? Anyone who defies him or fails to follow an order is killed immediately. His cruelty, mm, he is indeed an overlord. Wow, you're talking about the same guy? But I guess even the feared god of all overlords can be sweet to his own daughter. Heh, I guess Zenon does have one soft spot. You! If it was only me, I would have let it go. But I will not abide you ridiculing my father! I, I, you're taking this all wrong. I'm just surprised that even a demon like Zenon can show parental love. I guess demons have families too. Do you really believe that? H hey don't stand so close to me. It is exactly as you said. My father does love me. That special bond between my father and I. It is the love we share between father and daughter. Well, it's good to know that demons feel affection too. I guess. But her father is the demon I must defeat. Damn it. I shouldn't have asked her about him. It just makes it harder to defeat him. <laughs> 